<laughs> oh yeah well welcome back to another video guys as you guys know it is hunting season that's right we got to go scouting tonight to hopefully find a feed for tomorrow for early goose it is going to be the third day of season here in north dakota before we go scouting earlier today when i were just sitting at the house I pulled up on X and started to look at some fields. So if you open up on X, there's going to be a little satellite thing on the bottom right corner. And it also says 2D. You're going to click that. And then on the bottom, it's going to say recent imagery and you can just toggle it on and off. That way you can see what's planted there or you can even check the water levels. So I have been using that a lot this trip, which is super helpful. So if you guys are interested in Onyx, the link will be down below or else I'll pop up a QR code right here. And if you guys use code MINDAC, you can save 20% off a yearly membership. So with that being said, it's time to go scouting. Let's go find some birds. I was driving around and I wasn't even getting to the spot where I wanted to look and I see a bunch of ducks circling a wheat field and I couldn't see where they put down but I just saw kind of like the general area. I kind of got to a different angle of the field and let me tell you what, it is loaded. I'm going to try and get out the binoculars and uh, see if I can't get them on video for you guys. They're pretty far away and they're pretty hidden so this might be a little tricky. Well, there's clearly a lot of birds there. I'm not sure if they're all ducks or if there's geese. I've only seen ducks flying. Fingers crossed they're geese, but I got a feeling they might be ducks. Are we in Canada? What am I seeing right now, bro? What in the heck is that stress? Well, I'd like to say there are birds here and there is a lot, wow. So a little update for you guys. I just found that massive feed and unfortunately the landowner does not let anyone hunt, which is a big bummer, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna keep driving and see if I can't find any more birds. I've seen quite a few, but nothing that size. I, I probably won't ever see anything that size again this early season. But if we can find 75 to 100 birds, that would be awesome. We're gonna keep trucking away and hopefully run into something good. Yep, I think that will do. Oh, good morning, Mr. Owen, sir. What a morning. No one wanted to wake up. They all stunk. Didn't want them in the blind anyway. I was like, Sam, we scouted. Let's not wake them up. Yeah, I never said that. The guys went hunting last night while me and Owen scouted for a field this morning. And well, we're hunting Owen's field, so huge shout out to Owen. But yeah, but it's not like good. It's just the it'll best do we that. got. <laughs> but it will definitely do for two guys it'll, now. It'll... We're going to head out to the field. We got about a 10 minute drive. We'll see you guys there. Did you say a fast twitch? Oh look, it's by your feet. It fell out of the bag. <sighs> Gatorade. <laughs> It'd be a shame. Hey, this ain't very smooth, bucko. Nope. Those straight axles are really good for driving through fields. You should get you on. Well, it's five o'clock in the morning. We got an hour to set up and it's just Owen and I. So we're gonna get stuff uh, situated real quick and then I'll pick up the camera. But it's dark outside. You guys won't be able to see much. We only have to set up like 25 decoys though. That is true. <laughs> so that shouldn't be that bad. It ain't no snow goose spread. That is true. Nope, we're throwing a snow goose spread today, fellas. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at them big owls, baby. Well, we got five dozen big owls, probably. We're just gonna set them all out into tight family groups, and hopefully, we'll do the trick on these geese. It's not good, bro. What happened? Good Let morning. us know, Sam. There is definitely supposed to be a little knob in that black hole, but that is gone. But, oh, something just fell out. Oh, hey, it's my firing pin. <laughs> Hey, I don't think you're supposed to come out like that, bucko. <laughs> no. Hey, what the mallard doing? 
we got about what 20 minutes of shooting light probably yeah 30 minutes until we probably see geese but uh, yeah, Owen, you might be just a one-man show today. Of course, <laughs> well, of course. Actually, yeah. The one time oh. I plan on pulling the trigger hey, this trip. Actually, you should go first. Are you sure? Because I've shot gun. Yeah, I've shot geese. Oh, you've already shot geese. Yeah. yeah. I haven't shot a goose yet this this year, so the 20 gauge I'm itching to. I'll show you guys what we're set up on and how we're gonna be hunting these birds with one gun. Well, Mr. Owen, we got a decent hide. I mean. The wheat. It's not the same color. But it's not the think. same color as the wheat in the field or the bale, but we got the bale hiding us, so I think we'll be all right. But we're working with a big pond in the middle of this wheat field, and we got hay bales as ducks. But we're set up on this hill here. We got the big owl set out in family groups along this hill, and we got a wind at our back, and they are roosting way over yonder. So hopefully they come across. Oh, and and drift right on in to Owen's face. Your right face on your lap. First. Yours first. Should we put a big owl up on that bale? I'll bet they'd like that. It's call? I did bring my goose call. Okay. <laughs> we don't have a flag. We almost forgot my call. And yeah. So today just has not been going great. This kind of like whole early season thing just hasn't really gotten great for us. But we're making do with what we have. And we're having fun while we're doing it. See, if the geese do that, I should triple up with the 20 gauge, right? Nice and comfy in the big Start house. eating. They're just eating right now. They're getting after it. They ain't wasting. Owen, I'm going to make you proud with your 20 gauge. Good, please. All right. I preach. I, I preach. I swear by that. Oh, those are just massive ducks. I thought those were geese for a second. Wow, those are some big ducks. All right. Well, since we're using the 20 gauge, I got to get fired up before we shoot some stuff. And I know the perfect song. Huge shout out to our boys. 247 Hump Baby. Yep, we's gonna kill him now, bucko. Okay, something's gotta be up. Oh, yeah. He's going into that. They're going to water. Water to water to field. I'm guessing that's what they're gonna do today. Or maybe those ones just water grinders. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Bro, I could have busted those. <laughs> Three coming right at us. Is the GoPro running? Yeah. Uh oh, you might have to shoot over me. Got him. Well, first shot, we got one. Well, first shot, we got one. Now they're going in the He's field. up. Hey, wait, wait, hey. He's coming down over there. I gotta go get him, dude. They're just landing on the water. Shoot him. I had to get that one before he made it to the water, but we got first one down, baby. How'd that feel? That felt amazing. I told you that 20 gauge is a dagger. There's so many ducks. Holy cow. This thing is a sniper. Keep the gun. If we were you duck hunting right now, dude. Look, look at that. that. Wow. Boom, boom. Hey, miss. Miss, it's August. <laughs> Do you think you would have got one? No. I missed twice. I missed twice. This one's on a string. Oh man. Yep. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah. Here we come. <laughs> How many? Uh, quite a few. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> 
Unless that you got it on GoPro. So. They're coming on a string. Mm. <laughs> Just point the camera to the left. <laughs> He's going to be right here, bucko. I got two. I just filmed it sideways. Did you get one? See, they're just eating the water right now. I actually hit three. He just died in the water. What? I just got three. He's in the water, dead. Oh Good thing I brought, brought waders. You tripled? I tripled. We got four. Should we stay down or? I should Let's pick those up real quick. Well, we got one dead on the water, and I dropped two more. So, we got four birds down. Heck yeah, the 20 gauge is popping. How that feel? Dude, so good, Owen. Let's go, brother. That, that 20 gauge is banging this morning. I'm, I'm literally 100%. It hasn't missed yet. I Dang. Told you what about with all the snow geese? Well, so far we've only seen geese going water to water, and we're set up like literally in the middle of all these water holes, and these birds are just bouncing back and forth, and we so get them to come over us. Shooting. We're basically we pass shot those ones, <laughs> but they were right there, so I wasn't gonna miss that opportunity. <laughs> Look at them tasty things. The fresh man, youngins, oh, nice no. and. You gonna eat those? Tender. You gonna grind oh, yeah. them up? Oh yeah, they're good. They're nice and tender. Why not, right? They were born three months ago. Literally. And we got the one in the water, which we need to get the waders out of the truck. That'll be fun though. Yeah, maybe just go for a swim. It's warm enough, right? It was a good day out here with Owen. Unfortunately, the birds did not really work with us today, which is all right. It's hunting, it's how it goes. And that seems to be the scheme of things this year. I've never really hunted for geese with a 20 gauge before. It was definitely one of the coolest things I've ever done. And let me tell you what, they knocked them geese down, but they are early season birds and they are young. So it probably doesn't take much to knock them down. Things of beauty, wow. But Owen's gonna go get the truck and then we're gonna go retrieve that bird in the water. Nicked him in the wing, and right there in the lung or heart. Probably uh, stinks. He, you know, that water was actually clear and hard and sandy, so. Maybe it's a good place. It's a good slough. So maybe these That's will actually so taste rare. really good, right? That's so rare. Yeah, it's actually a really good slough. There wasn't like any allergy or anything. <laughs> Morning, kiddo. How are we doing? How are you doing? You're the one laying on the concrete <laughs> here. You know, we just laid in the car for about, it's four o'clock in the morning, we left at about two. What's hey, what up, up, Bubba? Boys. Oh, it's you're four all in fired the morning. Up. You're fired up, huh? It's goose opener. Yes, sir. Golly. Getting after it. Yeah? I'm hurting. I'm tired. Let's mix in the water, not an energy drink. No, let's, let's get, get amped up. You need a walk, guys. Let's get I amped shaking up. here in a couple hours. I'm, I'm pumped. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. Oh. <laughs> but as you guys heard, it is goose opener here in South Dakota. Last week was North Dakota, and now it's South Dakota. So, with that being said, we traveled a little bit to meet up with our good buddy, Caden. And he just pulled up, and so did his cousins. What up, boss man? What's up? Good morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's Caden. How's what it up? going? Good. Ready to grease him? I'm ready. Hey. 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 I think I'm going to get West Nile up in here. I don't know who left the window open, but shout out to them for letting all these mosquitoes in. I think we're going to have mosquito burgers for breakfast. That is sickening. Like, actually, really, really gross. I think I'm going to have to sell my truck or burn it. One of the two. All right, well, we just made it out here to the field. We got everything set up and we are trying to escape the mosquitoes. So that's kind of why I haven't been filming too much. And it's very, very warm out here, but the mosquitoes are so darn bad. Gotta wear long sleeves. Morning, August. Morning. It's been a minute. It has been. You haven't been seen on the channel for about, what, two years? It's probably about that, yeah. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. crazy. 
Where's the chalky milk at? Oh, you got it out already. Oh yeah, you bet. How chunky is that? It's actually still pretty cold. Probably get some mosquitoes in it though. It's like 80 degrees out right now, my guy. I know. It's gonna get chunkier pretty quick though. Hey, what up, Ethan? Good morning. Hey, who's this? It's the star of the show. Is this your pup? Yes, sir. You keep? Hi, hey, Ted. What up, Ted? What do you think about all these mosquitoes, huh? He's getting infested. Oh, I feel bad. I'm gonna get the light off you so you stop getting mucked. <laughs> but that's the whole crew for today. We got a lot of boys out here. There's quite a few birds. There's probably about 150 to 200 and hopefully they come in and do it right. But there is no wind, so that's our only problem. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, shooting the nitro steels today from Remington. Two shot, that's all you need this time of year. Well, we're running a pretty small spread today. We only got 28 full bodies out. Just in family groups. These geese have been feeding pretty tightly, and but they're still kind of hanging out in family groups a little bit, kind of like this. So uh, we're hoping for the best here. We don't have very much wind, but the wind that we do have is coming at our backs, going this way. What up, Ted? Ted. 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 Teddy. Ted Bundy. Ted. You ready to get them birds, boy? Right on. Typical early season birds. Short stop does. <laughs> no bueno, one would say. That's good. Shoot him. Somebody, right. somebody saw some. Good boy, Ted. Oh, I'm so shit, oh. oh, poor Ted. Oh, he's on a hunt. He is pumped. <laughs> Ted's gasping oh, for air. <laughs> well, Shep, that group did it pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. About time. Yep. They were right in our face. <laughs> that was pretty good, huh? That was, that was sick. That was awesome. That was that was a lot how of fun. Many, right how there. many birds did you guys get? A couple. You guys only got four of it? I guess two got away. Oh, that was awesome. Can't beat that. But those ones decided to do it pretty well, and the rest of the birds have been kind of just landing on their own. All the other flocks have landed on their own in different spots of the fields, so I think it's going to be a rough morning. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Shoot those if you can. Shoot that one to the ground. Had a boy hunt. Nice boys. I got two boys. Oh, I got like boys. I didn't shoot one. I got Not bad one. left side. Well, the boys got a couple down out there. That was good shooting on the left side. I thought they were going to center up a little bit better, but they decided to land out there a little bit. Where are those other ones? If they get up, shoot them. But wait for the others. They're not coming. You guys can go ahead and shoot these. Hey. Get them up. They's dead. Poor little two pack. They got the smoke. Well, we had that two pack, and then we had another two pack behind us, but they decided not to come, so we just took those while they were in the decoys. So it is what it is. Hopefully, we get some more birds to come. What up, Ted? You did good today, Ted. You got some blood on your face, huh, Bubba? What'd you think? This is great. Holly? That was pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that was Ethan, how'd Ted do? Uh, we got work to do, but we'll get her. We'll get her. Oh, yeah. But we ended up with 17 birds on the ground, which isn't too bad. We probably should have had a couple more. Um, I think if we had a little bit of wind, it definitely would have been a lot better. But we did what we could do, and we ended up with a pretty good pile. We had a blast out here with all the boys, and T-Shep, he's ready to activate for tonight. 
Well, it's now the next day and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with yesterday's footage, but I decided to combine it with a 20 gauge hunt that I went on with Owen just because I don't, you guys are probably like, I don't want to see you shoot twice in a video and that's it. So that's why I threw in this footage. So that way you guys can at least get a little more content than just somebody talking most of the time. We've been having a great time this early season and I'm really excited to get out with John. John actually just got back from Alaska so he's been out scouting quite a bit and uh, we got a couple hunts lined up. So you guys will be seeing John and I back together hunting some geese. Thank you for watching today's video and we'll catch you guys on the next one.